Hey guys, Agent One Skill here. I'm back with this week's um, unboxing. Um, unfortunately, there was no game news video. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've just been a little bit busy over the weekend because of um, family problems. Uh, uh, family's doing a, a, a family member of mine is doing surgery. Um, nothing too serious. It's just um, just f some family internal issues, stuff like that. Um, not much to worry about. It's just a follow-up procedure. It's just I've been swamped with it with work and school and that. So um, little, too little time to make videos. But today, um, it's a Tuesday. Um, I know that I should have bought something new or whatever, but there wasn't really anything other than um, I will say one thing: uh, the Stick of Truth South Park uh, that came out, and that is looking pretty troll. So uh, if you like South Park and you like a fun game. Fun, relaxing game. Um, it's a South Park RPG. Go ahead and try it out. Uh, this is a collector's edition. It's got like a six-inch figure of uh, Cartman and uh, his hand-drawn map of his um, kingdom. But enough about that. I'm here about an unboxing. Um, if you've seen my couple last couple videos, um, you know what the hell I was bitching about and why the hell it take them took them so long to send this to me. Uh, well, I just fucking got it. I would have got it yesterday, but I missed the pickup time, so, um, I had to pick it up today, and fuck, it's freezing here now, right now. Um, probably not as, as much as, uh, some parts of the world, but for me, uh, I mean, fuck, it's just cold to me. So, I finally got it. I'll show you guys right here. Yeah, the Final Fantasy, like, uh, Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy thirteen. Uh, collector's edition for the PS3. Um, I have all the other games um, on the P on the PS3, and I only own a PS3, so I had to get this one. Um, so this took exactly a goddamn month to get to me. They said they shipped it on February 4th of last month, and I got it technically would have been yesterday, and I picked it up today. So today is March the 4th. It took me exactly about a month. So I did a, an unboxing um, for the Final Fantasy um, 13 Lightning Return Steelbooks. Um, I actually just got um, my the actual one I wanted to get it get. So here it is. This is the PS3 uh, G2 size Final Fantasy uh, Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 um, Steelbook. Uh, so this is G2 size. Um, so I wanted to clarify um, where this you would be able to get the steelbook. So this is in Europe, but specifically in France, because in the back here the writing is all in French. So I'm assuming, um, I heard on the net that most parts of Europe only got the G1 size for both both consoles, but only in France and I think Asia, I can't remember which part of Asia, but they said Asia got a G2. So I managed to pick this one up um, off eBay, um, brand new, it was sealed, so it actually comes with the uh, DLC code for uh, Cloud Strife. Um, I'm willing to trade this for a, any North American um DLC if you have an Europe account or a France account, because um, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be playing this on. Um, I don't have the French or EU game of it, so yeah. So if you haven't seen that last video, so this is the exact same thing inside art, uh, just some costumes and then the back, and then the front. So it's all it's exactly the same thing. Um, I can even do a quick like like comparison and whatnot. I have them both here with me, so I'm actually selling this one off now, trying to anyway, um, in my region. So here was the one that I showed in the video previously. So it's exactly the same thing, it's just bigger, you know. And this is in the back is in English, so this is from probably UK, but uh, yeah. And I also have, as you already know, I also have the uh, Target exclusive or Future Shop exclusive of the Steelbook. I just like the emblem that's just bigger. Inside art is just the map if you already know if you haven't already seen it. So yeah. Um mine's the incomplete version as I said before. Um the target one comes with a slipcase. So yeah. And of course no DLC, of course. Um so I just want to show off something else as well that I've bought for Lightning Returns. Um before I get into the actual game and unboxing. So I bought the limited, uh, the collector's edition guide. Um, so it's a uh, hardcover. It's got a dust jacket on it. It also came with DLC. Um, so I've been itching to wanting to use it. Um, it comes with both Xbox 360 code and a PS3. Um, if you have an Xbox 360 code, 
Um, or if you want an Xbox 360 code, this is what is this? The uh, I believe is the Art of War one. Um, if you don't, if you want it, I'm willing to trade it with you if possible. If you have a PlayStation 3, uh, the GameStop or EV Games uh, exclusive DLC, I think it was the, the 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 flower or I can't remember what it is. But if you have it and you haven't used it and you want to trade, um, I'd be glad to trade it. Um, remember, it's um, DLCs are locked to regions. So if you have a European one and you give it to me, I'm not gonna be able to use it. So, and if I give you the this is the M, like I'm assuming North American, so I won't be able to, you won't be able to use it either. So yeah. All right, so it's it's in hardcover. It's got um so instead of the two like ribbon bookmarks, they actually give you two actual bookmarks of um to you know check where you left off and stuff like that. Uh, so just give you a check here. It's got like a really soft like rubber kind of. I can't really explain the quality. It, it feels like it's kind of. Furry? I don't know. I, it, it's 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 just unique to me. So if I take that off, it's just plain black with lightning returns on it. So really nice. It comes with a big ass map too. Um, I won't show you the inside. I mean, it's it's just guide stuff, right? So this is one giant map. It shows like I think every uh the like five or four different regions that you're gonna be in. So it's a pretty big map. You can like frame this up if you wanted to. So it even goes a little bigger. So yeah. The front here. And then the back. Yeah, so it's only like four regions you're going to be in. So the setting in this one is slightly different. Because I mean you're supposed to finish the game like within supposedly 13 days. Because there's a time limit thing going on, right? So you're supposed to save the world and whatnot. So yeah. Alright, so, let's get to the part of today's unboxing, you know. So, uh, I'll read the back for you right now, um, if you don't already know. It comes with a silver embossed pocket watch, um, a actual uh, hardcover art book, 80 pages, um, and it's got the Air D DLC, the Flower Girl, um, and it comes with, like, the Japanese um, art cover thing, and then regular box, and... This is like one giant slipcase, so let's open that up. Uh, luckily there was no damages, you know, considering fucking how long it took. I just can't believe it, it took a whole month to get here. And it's just right across the state, you know what I mean? I mean, I got my two steel books. Each one took less than a week. It took me th like four... PS3 one took me maybe about a week. But the Xbox one that I first got, which also came across the ocean, like in Europe, right? It came in like three days, literally, legit. So, took that off. So like I said, it's a big giant slipcase. Here's the front, here's the side, same side, bottom and top has nothing. So voila, giant slipcase is off. And then here's the same cover as everything else. So they said they made it um, like the Japanese version or whatever, so I don't know, man. Um, same side, side, back has nothing, so yeah. And it opens up like this, so you just take off the whole box, and that's it. And then um, you got everything tucked in nicely, and then you got this uh, little ribbon belt thing, so you can pull out everything without you know messing it up. So we'll take out the first thing that's in this box. Okay, so yeah, this is the hardcover art book. It's got its own dust jacket. Um, let's see the same thing on this side as well. It's the same thing, it's just a sketch uh, instead, and it's, and it's got a white cover instead um, of the black and colored of uh, Lightning Lightning. So, it's 80 pages, it shows the costumes, uh, concept art, finishing the Sega, like, you know, more, more art. It's really hard to open. The world, that kind of thing. So, this is really nice. Um, compared to the Final Fantasy XIII, too, the art book was fucking shit. But they did gave us a full fucking soundtrack, which I loved listening to. Four discs, almost like I think over fifteen songs each. That was great. I had I actually listened to the whole thing, so it was it was fun and unique. Uh, we got the uh, regular copy game, I believe. Uh, and the, yes, 
it is. Well, let's pop this open first, because, I mean, the watch is not going to be much to see. So, let's see if my DLC is in here. And I need to make sure I have my soldier, super soldier one, too. Or else I'm going to have to call Square Enix again for the screw-up or whatever. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. And what is this one? Okay, it's just okay. So I've got the flower DLC in here. I'm not gonna give you the code because I'm actually gonna use it. Uh, Square Enix code and no manual. It's a trifold thing, so fuck it. This is my Square Enix code, not gonna give you guys that either. Standard copy of the game. And sadly, there's no, um, you know, back cover art. Sales of Symphonia looked really nice when they had that back cover art for the Collector's Edition. I mean, this was exclusive to Square Enix. They couldn't have done a little bit something special. I mean, I'm asking a lot. I mean,. Other companies do other things, but I mean, it'd just be really great if this was a standard, you know? Um, that'd be really great. So, just standard copy game, not too much. Now, we get to the... So, uh, after you take the art book out, uh, the game was set it in here, and then the, here's where the uh, watch is. So, we'll take a look. It's got um, a plastic, like, sleeve that holds it together. It's already got fingerprints on it, so... I think you just slide this off. You can, yeah, you can slide it off. I think it's not going very well. I could just cut it, but I I will do it later. So got that off. Um, I don't know how much you're gonna see. There is the the lightning uh, the Final Fantasy 13 logo, whatnot. So yeah, open it up. It's in like a sturdy cardboard kind of thing. Um, you've got. First thing you pop open is the instruction manual saying that it is not a toy and like uh, showing you how to adjust the time, stuff like that. Yada yada yada. And then it's got the cover. And then you've got the watch. It's got the lightning logo on it. And you take this out and then you can see that's where the chain is kept. So we'll just take that out. Looks really nice. Uh, makes you feel like one of those like rich European guys or whatever. That's how I always saw these, po how I saw these pocket watches, you know. And then, yeah, so you just press the button, pop it open, and there you have it. The chain looks sturdy enough, to be honest. You can actually use this if you want. Um, and then I'll just have to activate, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. And it's made in China, of course, you know. So, um, that's my full unboxing of the collector's edition i hope you guys liked it um and uh various other products that i bought um you know via internet amazon ebay you know that kind of thing if you're looking to buy those um i think the collector's edition uh uh what is it the bd cover fuck guidebook um it's gonna get rare because i could barely find the the first one and that was costing a lot of money i've actually got that on its way uh the first seller didn't want to ship it to me because he said it was going to cost too much because i li lived in uh, canada instead of the state so i got screwed over there um other than that um the steelbooks are just really expensive um try and go to the actual site um like the region uh you might not have to pay out of the ass if you're just searching on your own um ebay site like um uh, on the Canadian or US site, you're gonna pay out of the ass. So you would want to look it up on their actual respective region, like the uh, eBay UK or e eBay FR France, something like that. Um, you'll probably find it much cheaper, I think. Anyways, um, that's my unboxing for today uh, for the final Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13 for the PS3. Hope you guys liked it. Um, comment, subscribe, and I uh, hope to see you guys uh, later this week. Peace out, guys.